We all have those bucket list trips. Places we've been longing to go, people we've been wanting to meet. We're packing up and heading south to the desert for exactly one of those trips. To see new places, have new experiences, make new friends, and memories that will last a lifetime. Brad's prepping for a mission to space over here. You just crash landed from your space shuttle. This is the story till now. Man on a mission, I'm a kidding. You know I be on a way. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. White Rock Dodge. Rip Superchargers. Modular Racks. And in part by... What's up everybody, hope you had a great weekend. Welcome back. I am just getting ready to go out on another big road trip, which is super exciting. Christian and I are taking our two supercharged Jeep Gladiators and heading back down to the United States. One of the things that I'm doing is securing my house before we leave. So I've got the guys from TriWest Security over here installing some new cameras and an alarm system. That way I can keep updated on what's going on with my house while I'm away, make sure everything's secure. The whole system's monitored, so don't come to my house, try and steal my stuff, or you're gonna end up with your face all over the internet. Now, some of the guys at TriWest who are working on this are fans of the channel, so I wanted to give them a quick shout out and say thanks for helping me get my house secured. And if you're in the Lower Mainland and you need a security system or camera system, give the guys at TriWest a call. They've been super great to work with. getting fluffy all packed up here for the trip. As you can see, he is bringing water and toilet paper. Don't expect our cooking to be high end. It may need necessary to bring more. Well, I don't know about eating toilet paper. Fluffy here has a tonneau cover set up that uh, opens up super nicely. Keep all the gear dry, dust free, hopefully. It'd be nice when we get out of this fog and get into some sunshine somewhere, eh? You're telling me. I was sick of the fog two hours ago. All right, I got a line on a campsite, possibly, where we can camp on some lava rock at the base of a volcano, which sounds cool. So I think we're gonna try and find that spot. It's supposed to be four wheel drive access only, which is perfect for us. With the sunset reflecting off the snow-capped volcano in front of us, we made our way up a dirt road hoping to find a trail that I've marked on our maps. That's a volcano beside it. It's been a crazy flood that ripped through here. No trees to hold it. This is definitely an interesting little trail so far to get to the base of this volcano. Hopefully it's worth it. We can get there before dark. If it was uh, if it was dark, I don't think I could even find the tracks that I'm following. This whole area has been burned from a forest fire. We made our way through the washed out burnt forest along a vague GPS track until there wasn't much of anything left to follow. We were navigating on instinct. The trail is completely washed out here and we're lost. We can't find the trail where it picks up past the washout. I'm gonna double back and see if we missed something because it should just be a straight shot. Faster route via forest route 4, 2, and 1, 5, which saves 13 minutes. Okay, it says the trail is to the left. I killed a tire. Oh yeah, that's bad. Doing our first little bit of off-roading. We're trying to find this trail because there's been a flood that's come through here obviously, yeah, and a forest fire. 
So it's just like sand and burnt trees that are sticking up out of the sand. I got a little overconfident doing some exploring. It happens. Day one of the trip and uh, we killed one of my tires. One so. tire down. I think best bet is to probably change this tire <laughs> for one without a stick in it. Yeah. Does this one have a stick in it? All right, we got the tire fixed and we just kind of pulled off to a nice flat spot, set up our tents and we're gonna carry on in the mornings, warming up by the fire. More driving tomorrow. It's nice temperature out, there's no snow, we have fire. Can't complain, it was your tire, not mine. All good things. So last night, we tried to camp on a volcano, did not go well. We'll just add that one to the bucket list. We're gonna head on, we got about nine hours more to drive to get down into uh, Southern California a bit more. It's time to hit the road. Where's the exit? Straight. Our destination is Southern San Diego, California, where we'll meet up with Brad, Marco, and Josh to head into the desert. Man, it's already 75 degrees outside. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be warm today. We're gonna be in the 80s. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Good, how are you? Guys, it's Border Patrol. This is Immigration Inspection. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. Can anybody else in the vehicle? Nope. You guys U.S. citizens? I'm Canadian. Well, the, the way they, yeah. okay. you can, I mean, it's just, I don't know how he wants to do it. Uh, All right, man. But usually, like, they want to stay here. Thanks. But I mean, if he, if he lets you go up ahead. I guess we're pretty close to the Mexican border here, so they're just checking to make sure that we're not smuggling anybody. The officer asked me if we were the YouTube guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And he's like, he's like, you see any Canadians? Because we're we're looking for Canadians. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys, we're just getting out here into the desert. Met up with a few friends, and it's going to be a fun trip. We've got uh, Marco here from Overland X. Marco, awesome to so glad to have you here, with you. man. Welcome to. To our desert here. This thing must be super fun to drive in it, this terrain. It is. Of course, we also have with us Brad from Trail Recon. Okay. Brad, awesome to finally meet you. Yeah, man, it's great you guys came down here. I mean, this ah. is the perfect weather right now in February. It's like 20 degrees above normal. It's supposed to be in the low 80s today. Yeah, we lucked out. Yeah. And we even we got stopped by Border Patrol. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> they were they looking were for funny. Canadians. They were looking for Canadians apparently, and here we are. Yeah. I'll bet today and tomorrow we don't see anybody. Just uh, oddly dressed gingers. And so, we were off on our adventure into the desert with an all-star crew and nothing but trails to explore ahead of us for the next couple of days. Oh, I love it out here. It's beautiful. The hills, it's amazing that it, the mountains are made of mud, right? You could throw a camera and get a good picture. Guys, it is awesome out here. We're out here, beautiful weather. It is, you know, 25 degrees Celsius. Out here with some amazing people, some of the biggest YouTubers in the off-road space. We're going camping. Just living the dream, man. Stop. There's some mud caves in 
here we're gonna go check out. I just wanna want you to know that we're on over the San Andreas fall. <laughs> 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 I'll just leave it there. All right. <laughs> Safety second, guys. <laughs> There's about 20 or 30 caves out here. This is the largest concentration, concentration of mud caves in North America. Here we go. To the unknown again. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Just oh, collapse. that sounds nice. Yeah, I know. So you definitely never want to come down here. One, when it's raining, you don't want to be in here. And two, after a rain, you want to re keep away from here. Wow, this is cool. We've been coming here for years, and this, this place changes all the time. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this is really huge in here. Looks like it's people. Oh, you can see the how the water is just kind of just comes in here. Just yeah, right, right down on the walls. It's amazing. Yeah. From here on out, it keeps the trail keeps going, or I should just say the wash yeah. keeps on going, but it's pretty much opens up. Um, I've only gone about a half mile past, and my son and I were out here, and we were like, all right, we're done. We just turned around. So I've never gone all the way to the end, but there's pretty much no more cave. Well, at a certain point, it just becomes hiking, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what it ended up being. Hey guys, we're inside a mud cave. This is pretty interesting. I've never been in a mud cave before. Feels very safe. <laughs> John, there's, a, there's a, an area here where you can get flexy. I'm ready, guys. drop-off I don't know what that means it sounds interesting I call this the Diablo drop-off do you think it's because of the video game do you think Diablo is at the bottom do we have to fight him so we don't have to fight a boss at the bottom I don't know and you just don't get to see it when you crest it you're like where, where is it going right now okay I'm good Diablo drop-off is a steep section of trail on a rough downhill that results in some great suspension flex testing as you go down it. So good. So here's something super fascinating. So this is the first time that I've done something like this in the 4x8. I had, I'm in uh, four low first gear, but I had max regen on. I didn't touch the gas pedal or the brake that entire time. Not once. That was awesome. That was pretty wild. Right max up. regen is pretty cool. And I'm, and I'm, I'm building battery power. What is max power. regen? Huh? What is max regen? So it regenerates the battery. So it takes the torque that you're using and puts it into the battery. So while I was doing that, I was charging the battery. This is pretty cool. This would excite this would be so good. It's like science, yeah.
After a day of driving through the desert, we made our way into a sandstone canyon that was incredibly beautiful to drive through. Some of the squeezes through this canyon are pretty tight. Really fun to drive, and it's beautiful in here. I love slot canyons. After exploring the canyon, it was time to start looking for a good place to camp before it got dark. Marco had promised to cook dinner for us, which was something to look forward to. All right, we've just rolled into this campsite that Marco picked out for us. and get all set up and then we can chill out for a bit. Pretty excited. Welcome to, welcome man, I'm so glad to have you here. I'm glad to be here. I got something for you. You got something for me? Yes. No. Uh oh. Your cookbook? I got one for you too. Wow. I'll have to enjoy it, buddy. Thank you so much. Marco's got the Patriot Campers X2, which he's using for his kitchen setup. Very cool trailer. He says it's been really impressive where it can go, which is awesome. That's what I do. So this Gladiator has the Alu cab on it, which uh, is kind of like a little camper. You can walk in through the back of the truck and in. I've seen a couple of these on Gladiators in the last couple of days. And I gotta say, I'm kind of falling in love with them. So that's a cool little propane fireplace there. And you can see the chimney on the back. That must keep you nice and toasty warm, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. How do you yeah. like the, the camper so far? Man, it's it's been incredible. Um, I, I, it'll be really hard to go back to camping any other way. And uh, the guys over at Tiny Rig Co, man, they did a great job putting this all together for me. Brad's prepping for a mission to space over here. This is a space pod. <laughs> Sorry, it's a shift pod, but it looks like it's going to space. It kind of looks like we're on a different planet. It does kind of look like we're maybe on the moon or yeah, it's something. It's definitely cool out here, right? Yeah. I like how it's got the, the exit sign, though. It looks like it's an emergency exit. Like, you just you just crash-landed from your space shuttle. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I laughed about it in the beginning, but all the walls inside are white, and they all look the same. And so, honestly, if that's not there, you sometimes in the morning, you're like, oh, wait a minute. Which way is out? Ah, <laughs> so it's actually functional. It is functional. You might get lost in here without the exit sign. <laughs> I hope not, but yes. So if you're a real overland chef, which Marco is, because he has his own cookbook, which he gave me, which I'm really excited about, you have not only the scottle, but the baby scottle for small scottling. Just as we were getting ready to eat, Brian from Goose Gear came by to join in on the fun. This is the No Name Unknown Losers Club, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, you're in the right place. Right right right. <laughs> we were sent here, we didn't head here. <laughs> That's how this works. Good to see you. How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Excellent. Just for you to try it, right there. Right, right there. You want more? Thank you, sir. Right away. Dude. And, uh... That is amazing. I'm... If you guys want to see more Overland cooking, make sure you subscribe to Marco's channel, Overland X. I'll put a link in the description. There was a play in every corner doing
morning guys just got up beautiful morning here at camp I think Mark was making up some stuff here for breakfast so we're gonna go check it out I'm making the salsa for chilaquiles nice so you got the ninja 1500 watt blender here yep it's it's a 1500 watt running on the Explorer 1500 from Jackery nice I have one of these as well take this with me everywhere for power and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, this will power anything. Dude. That looks amazing. It's pretty crazy what you can do with the Jackery 1500. It's got a lot of juice. If you're interested in checking out one of these, there's a link in the description. I take mine with me everywhere. Marco uses his to make salsa. I take, I take mine everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> It's a pretty cool product. Look at this, guys. This man is a cooking wizard. It is crazy. Nine fifty-two is already seventy-seven degrees. And this weather is rough. With the desert heating up, we made our way out through another canyon. The scale of the rocks here and the formations made by wind and water were really incredible to drive through. All right guys, Brad and Marco have to head out. They are heading off to do great things and we're gonna continue on our journey. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure traveling with you for the last 24 hours and I uh, appreciate it. It was awesome man, I hope it's not the last time. Yeah, anytime you guys wanna come up to Canada and see some stuff up our way, give me a shout, you're always welcome. 100%, 100%. man, thanks, thanks for having, you. coming down and visiting. Absolutely, make sure you guys are subscribed to Trail Recon and Overland X, links in the description, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Just kicking down all the doors, guarantee you, boy, fire as far, this gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids, and for their kids, it's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big, Satan trying a little, my God is real big, stayed up on the